All right, so we're going to do something fun. We're going to see what it's like to work at Funimation. And there's an interesting pattern that I found here. But first, before we go over it, I want to do a little disclaimer. So this is coming off Glassdoor, right? Uh, I made an account just to do this video. You have to make an account to look at the reviews. I have not tried to post a review, so I don't know if there is an approval process to post on a company. I'm not sure how that works. However, I do feel the need to say that I can't confirm 100% that all these people have worked here, right? But I can tell you that none of these reviews on the company came before the Broly movie dropped. So any kind of idea that these are trolls because of, you know, the controversy going on with Vic, that's not the case here. They would not be on here yet. And surprisingly, there isn't one yet. And don't please don't have the idea to go do that after watching this video, okay? Uh, so one thing that I found going through these, and this, and I'm not cherry picking. We're gonna go through one to five star reviews for this place. One theme that I've noticed is that management they seem to be pretty damn incompetent. And this is even after the Sony merger. So I thought that was a really interesting thing to find, considering the thorough investigation that they did for Vic Mignogna. Hmm. But you know, they're a competent company. So we're going to go through these and you're going to notice the, the pattern that I'm talking about here. So let's go ahead and start taking a look. So this one is five stars, love the growth and the future outlook, right? And they say, you know, our parent company, Sony has a lot of potential here and they're growing. Change isn't easy for some folks who have been here a long time. So this is back in May 10th, 2018. And that is another thing I've noticed in some of these reviews is that when Sony came in, there's some people that were upset by that. Now, I'm not saying that connects to anything. I'm just noting that that's interesting. But here is something that I thought was really interesting. Great talent here. But the professionalism, in quotes, meaning that there isn't any, of some folks who have large responsibilities is lacking in some areas. It seems to tie in to a lot of the things that we're seeing now. So a lack of professionalism. And they did a thorough investigation, huh? Come here. This is September 17th, 2018. This is a lower review, two stars. I have been working at Funimation full time. It's an interesting place to work, but overall not worth it. High turnover, low salary, disinterested management. Listen to your employees, pay them what they are worth. The comment that I liked out of this was disinterested management, which ties into the top one here about their lack of professionalism. You're going to see that's a theme that they complain about pretty much management, not knowing what the heck they're doing. And that they're a bunch of buffoons. That's that's what I was getting out of this completely as I was reading over this. So this is another low star. This is back in 2018, January 24th. So like I was saying, none of these are around the time Broly came out. So none of this was going on unless they were conspiring against it way back then and people were irritated about it. But I don't see anything about anything like that. So lots of opportunities for people that don't want to work hard and aren't qualified to do their jobs and also throw everyone under the bus around them when their lack of effort begins to show. Now, I thought that was really telling. Throwing people under the bus. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. What the coincidence. <laughs> Advice to management. Pay your people what they're worth and get rid of your dead weight. So, and they also talk about the Sony thing and, and stuff like that. So here's another one. This is a one star that I really liked. Entitled Brats and Wannabe Movie Stars. Now, this also kind of ties into uh, Mignogna. Typically because one of the theories that people throw out there is that because he was so popular and loved, literally like he had, from when I was told, lines every time he was at a con, right? And you have these entitled brats and wannabe movie stars. I think when people see someone like that, that's so loved and so popular, there's a lot of jealousy there, right? All right, so they say, you never have to do any work. As soon as you learn how to execute the standard Funimation protocol of pointing the finger at someone else. That was also a theme in a different review. And you see this one is at a different time. That's a year beforehand when they were talking about throwing people under the bus. 
And they also go on to say, projects never get done. There are huge mistakes made everywhere. No one accepts any responsibility. There's zero communication until something is on fire. All the managers are children goofing off around at Comic-Cons while the directors and the VPs are wannabe movie stars only interested in attending whatever lame red carpet event they can get to. This is, uh, this is funny. So once again, we see the theme of finger pointing. Nothing is going to happen till it's on fire, right? Now, what happened with the Broly movie? It came out. They were having success. And then all of this stuff took fire. They said, oh, we have an investigation, right? I don't think that there was an investigation because we learned recently that they had one before the Broly movie came out in that garbage article, if that's true. And according to that, there was an investigation and it was found inconclusive. And now the Broly movie comes out and there was another investigation. Huh. This stinks to me. And it just shows you how this garbage company works. This is a snake den of people eating each other alive, throwing everybody under the bus and a bunch of un- in- entitled brats and wannabe movie stars. It's very well said. Very well said. So we go here. This is actually four stars, right? Disgruntled employees, but overall great place. And they actually say nice things about it, but then you come down to the cons. There are a lot of disgruntled employees who seem to think that because we produce cartoons, everything should be incredibly easy. They don't want to work their full 40 hours and complain of being overworked when they have to. A lot of this is left over from a time when everything here was less corporate and everyone's job was easier than it should have been. When change came, people resisted it and complained constantly. It can take the office into unpleasant times. Now, here we got more upper management complaints. Upper management is not transparent about the company plans, which may be the way it has to be, but can, but can make employees feel insecure. We frequently question whether the company is going to be sold out from under us. Now, this is before the Sony merger, right? And that just shows you the environment there, leaving everybody on limbo. And uh, they complained about space. I wouldn't have highlighted the whole thing here, but <laughs> the, the app I use was messed up. Upper management seems disconnected from what's going on in most parts of the building. They make decisions that affect the whole company without considering how it will affect large chunks of their employee base. And that's where part of the disgruntledness comes in. And we go to a three-star review. Cons, difficult to understand who is in charge of what executive overlap. Do you see the theme that's coming in here? And I'm pulling these out of all stars. I'm not cherry picking these. Major changes in the company, mostly good. Advice to management. Please over communicate what and why we are changing. Recognize and reward those who are working hard and make this place successful. So I think here is a good place to end this because I don't want to read all of them. There's 41 reviews. This will turn into like a 40 minute video. But I found this one. Cannibalistic. Orwellian nightmare from an anonymous employee. And I think this really drives the point home, actually. So they worked full time. There's a 20 word minimum for quotation pros, but I honestly can't come up with 20 positive things to say about this horrifying, soul sucking black hole. I'm only giving them one star because I don't have the option to give them any, to not give them any. Cons, where to begin? It would be easier to talk about what's wrong with Funimation where you should be watching your back. (laughs) The employees hate each other. The infighting overshadows the actual objective nine times out of ten, and the work quality suffers as a result. Management refuses to do anything. The company actively hates the fan base. You know, those people who buy their products, line their pockets, and keep the lights on in the building. Yeah, them. The word fan particularly is a slur at Funimation. You are ridiculed at Funimation for being too much of a fan. Numerous times that fans say or post online are openly ridiculed for all to hear throughout the building. Anime fans, when you buy products from Funimation, you're essentially giving money to people who think you are stupid. And we can go ahead and come down here to the final part. And I don't want to read this whole thing because we're already running out of time. I don't like to make these things that long. But here is their core value. Harassment, it may as well be one of their core values. 
And then we got here, CYA is more important than doing a good job. There is more infighting and gossip than there is support and teamwork. People are fired mysteriously and without explanation. There is a constant human crush of people crawling their way out the door. And to top it all off, this place is disgusting. People are constantly sick. Funimation is the Ed Hardy of the anime industry. Working here is like being in an Orwell novel. You show up the first day bright-eyed and filled with an excitement, and you leave in a body bag covered in graffiti riddled with bullet holes. Just don't do it. You're better off working in public sanitation. You'd probably be paid better too. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. And the point I wanted to drive home here is the common theme that we see throughout this entire site, 41 reviews, just about all of them mention bad management, poor management. And we're talking from the beginning of the company until the end of the last review, which was September 2018. Oddly, no one else has posted since then, and I'm not sure why. That's a pretty big gap. So it's funny that they say they've done a big investigation, right? Literally after one that had just concluded with inconclusive evidence, but then they ran another one? Huh. That's funny. So I don't think there was a second investigation. I think they just fired him. I think they just said, we're done with you, bye. And then they said they had an investigation. That's what I think. And uh, it was a stupid move because I think Funimation is going to end up paying for all of this. And I wanted, like I said, I wanted to drive this point home, show the inside of the snake den from, I'm going to go ahead and say probably some uh, legitimate ones are in here. I, I can't say for sure, but what can I, what I absolutely can, I absolutely can say is that this was all posted before the Broly movie dropped before the kick Vic hashtag. So I can say that without a doubt, these aren't people mad and trolling Glassdoor off of that. So take that for what it is. I think that the common theme here runs uh, pretty tight with what I've heard from people that work on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was insightful. Remember to go check out the, uh, the Vic GoFundMe. You can find that in the community tab on my channel. It's right in there. Go check it out. Maybe consider throwing them a buck. And uh, throw a like up. Share the video if you would. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys real soon. Because every day something happens.